Shalom, brothers and sisters. I'm touching on stories like this on a weekly basis and it's rolling out all over the world and people don't realize it because it's small little stories being highlighted here and there over the weeks. But if you look at them together as a whole and a comparative package, you see a mass rollout all over the world happening at blinding speed to get this in place in time for a final seven year period of a new world order with one leader. These are the latest two. Fiji plans to roll out national digital IDs over the next three years. Fiji has established a three-year timeline for the completion of the national digital ID project following an inception workshop attended by government ministries and the Reserve Bank of Fiji, the Asian Development Bank, commercial banks, and the private sector. Now, why would you need banks with a digital ID? Because buying and selling. There is a good reason why banks are involved in the project. Central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, will be digital ID based. And it is the banking system that is expected to manage and all the related identity systems. German government is rushing through a security package, rushing to expand biometric surveillance. The German government is pushing it through the biometric surveillance, despite the country's strong stance on privacy and data protection. Not only do the proposed measures contradict the coalition government's own agreement, but they contravene the European AI Act and the German Constitution. And why would they still be rushing it through and why would it successfully pass? Because all the countries in the world are preparing for this, even South Africa, and starting to roll these balls to get that digital currency, CBDC, tied to a digital identity, all connected. And why, do you ask, are they rushing to get this going? Because in Revelation 13, verse 16 to 17, it says, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name now don't you think it's interesting that fiji's plan involves a rollout over three years and if you look at the seven year tribulation period the first three and a half years He's not really causing major chaos. He's the savior. He's fixing things. He's bringing people together. He's restoring hope. And then in the midpoint of the three and a half years, he reveals that he demands worship, that no one will buy or sell without having his mark, his name or the number of his name. All these things go down then. And Fiji just happens to be working on a three year plan, which will be just in time for a three and a half year mark when it needs to be rolled out perfectly across the world. Whoops, just saying, everything prophetically falling into place for a time such as this. He's not coming in a hundred years, in 20 years, in a thousand years. Everything is showing you that he could come in a moment in the twinkling of an eye.